Okay, it's Monday, and lately Mondays have been kind of starting to be my unofficial unboxing day. Probably because brands and other friends from from different places send their packages midweek, and eventually they come into the country during the weekend and eventually get delivered on a Monday. And Maybe I should start calling these videos Unboxing Mondays. Maybe not. Let's see. And of course, I am talking about the Myops Smart Trigger Plus. It's right here. I expected the bigger box actually, but apparently it's going to be a very simple packaging, but a really, really capable product. So let's see what's inside. There. We have a card that says, Welcome to the Myops family. Thank you guys. Um, it's it's been quite fun being friends and family with with a lot of new people recently but yeah welcome to the myops family and here are qr codes for downloading the application so another qr code for their youtube channel so do check it out on if you're if you're particularly interested in checking out the myops smart trigger or any of the other their other products then you should definitely check out their YouTube channel. So yeah, www.youtube.com slash myops. And here is a smart plus quick user guide. So we have the main product right here and it is the myops smart plus trigger. There's a screen right here. Let's remove that. And the ports are on the left side. So there's a USB charging port. There's a there's a one for the camera, one for flash, and another external um, port for which we shall find out. And on the right side is just a rubber padding. Okay, the on switch is right here. And of course the controls are right here. Now this one, so this one you can mount onto basically any tripod or maybe arm on which you'd want to put it in. But it also has a thread that should fit right onto your camera's hot shoe or cold shoe for, for that matter. And it comes with its own battery. So this is a rechargeable battery made specifically for this product. It does look like you can control it manually through the device itself. But of course, this is best used with your smartphone. And I will show you how to configure everything in just a bit. Okay, what else is in the box? So of course, we have the accessories right here in the bottom. First one is a USB charging cable. We also have a cable for the flash. And I think if you're going to get your own, this is of course going to be the kind of cable or that one cable that will matter depending on what camera you use. So of course this is going to be for my Sony A7R 3 And if I'm not mistaken, this is going to fit right onto most Sony cameras anyway. Uh, it's a micro USB actually. And this one of course goes right onto the trigger. So second port for the camera. There. Okay, so now let me get my camera. 
So here we go. Let's set the box aside. And let's actually see what this baby can do. I don't think I've ever taken out this hot shoe cover because I rarely ever use anything on the hot shoe of my camera. This one is so packed with so many different features and I'm gonna want to try those out. Of course there are already some modes I have in mind which I think will be most applicable to my photography but of course I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what other things this one can do. There it latches on perfectly. So let's turn it on. Does my camera have a battery? Yes, it does. Okay. So, okay, it's reminding me that there's a new firmware. So I'm, I'm just going to update that real quick. And it requires me to register. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, so now we have the app. And it, at first glance, it looks like a very, very simple user interface. And you basically just click or tap on whatever mode you want to want to use and that's it so cable release for example you should just tap it and take a photo and that's it right there let me press that there's a timer at the bottom and stop though there are a lot for example there's also timed release there's also timed release and self timer basic time lapse long exposure time lapse bulb ramping time lapse storm lapse road lapse hdr time lapse hdr time warper lightning sound laser diy aside from actually being being a very reliable trigger it also has solar calculator and neutral density so this can actually help you compute for your resulting exposure time when doing long exposures with neutral density filters so yeah you set the how many stops your filter has and basically your base exposure or your your balance exposure before using the filter and it's going to give you right here the resulting shutter speed that you would have to use to get the same amount of brightness and there's a button right below which says timed release which basically i guess sets it up for you and there it is yeah so personally for me this is going to be quite interesting in shooting long exposures long exposure landscapes cityscapes and also shooting time lapses um specifically in the city and as well as shooting star trails for example and also i am quite excited about shooting some lightning and i'm excited to try this one out of course thank you to my friends from myops in istanbul turkey and yeah there are definitely going to be videos following this one showing you how exactly i use the Myop Smart Trigger Plus with my Sony camera, of course. And yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>